how long does it take you to go from contract to close on a multifamily real estate deal? You can probably expect about 60 days on that. So why 60 days? You know, residential is usually like 30 days. You need another 60 days in there because there's going to be a few things happening. Um, one thing, one of the most important things is going to be your due diligence. And some of that's going to happen without you actually ever physically visiting the property. What you're going to do is you're going to get all the financial information about that property from the current owner. You're going to sit down at your desk and you're going to go through that like you are a forensic accountant where you are combing through all the numbers. Uh, you should be getting bank statements. You should be verifying all the information that you get as far as the money collected against those bank statements to make sure that you are not being lied to, that what you are purchasing is indeed what you um, wanted to purchase, right? So income is big. That's how you get your finances from the bank. And you want to make sure you spend some time going through that heavily. After you do that, then you want to do physical due diligence. And that's when you're going to go to that property and you're going to walk every single unit, not going to skip any, no matter how big, no matter how small you want to see every unit in that property, walk through it, get a good feel of what's there, what it's going to take to implement your business plan. If you're going to do some renovation, if it's not um, if there's nothing to change, you still want to go in there just to make sure that you're confirming everything that you think that it doesn't need some repairs. There aren't any leaks. Um, you also want to see any information or, or find any problems with the property that you can negotiate with the seller before you close. So, for instance, if you find out that the roof is old because you get a roof inspection or if there was anything wrong with the electrical, you want to make sure that you find those things before you close on the property and negotiate those. That happens in about 30 days. The bank is also going to need about 30 days to close. So what are they doing? When you buy multifamily, you buy it as an entity, right? So they're going to be um, looking over your entity documents. You're also going to be getting those entity documents created during this time. Um, if you're raising money from investors, this is the time period that you start raising money, um, collecting, forming the business structure, having them sign off on any... Um, legal documents that are required to form this structure in order to buy the property together. So all in all, that process between the due diligence, between the bank, between providing them all the information they, that they may need uh, regarding your entity, regarding you as a um, general partner in the deal, right? They want to see all those things and make sure that they do their proper um, due diligence on you, the borrower, and you're going to do your proper due diligence on the seller. All those things get wrapped up together. It takes about 60 days. In this market, you're going to need about that much time. Um, you know, in years past, you would try to put maybe 90 days into a contract, but most sellers aren't going to hang around that long. But you want to put a 60-day closing clause in there for you to wrap up all those things and then close on in about 60 days after contract.